Good day folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and like all my videos and watch them till the end. Now guys, we're going to do the topic called work energy and power. But the focus of this lesson is going to be based on work only. Now, what are we talking about when we talk about work? If something is doing work, um, let's say, for example, this gentleman is pushing a car and the car is moving. There's a work that has been done. So, if look at this gentleman is pulling the block there and the block is moving. There's a displacement from the block changing the position. There's a force applied and there's a displacement. That means there's a work that has been done. And here is pushing the block and the block is moving. There's a work that has been done. This gentleman in an, on an incline is pushing a wheelbarrow. So if the wheelbarrow is moving, and uh, which is there's a force that is exacted, that means there's a work that has been done. So doing work is doing something. So all these scenarios, they're doing work. Now, what is work? In order for work to be done, what do we do? Work is done on an object when a force works on an object. If there's a force on an object, just like here, there's a pushing force, there's a pulling force, pushing force, pushing force. If there's a force, there's a work that has been done. So force is one of the requirements of the work done. And, and an object moves in the direction parallel to the force. So if you look at this gentleman is pushing a force in that direction. So the object moves in the direction of that force. That means there's a work that has been done. Here is pull is pulling an object. So the force there is going in that direction. So the object is displaced in that direction. There's a work. Force is in the same direction with the displacement. Force in that direction and the object is going in that direction, is moving there. There, there, there's a work there so these are the two requirements for the work now let's come to the definition which is very important what do we define what is the definition of the work now i know the work involves the force and displacement but there's another thing that is important is the angle which is the direction direction okay now let's define work work is the product of magnitude of displacement and the component of the force okay this is what it means work is w work is the product of the force and displacement right in the direction of the displacement so this cos theta it means it's the direction direction of the it's a direction of the displacement and the force. So work is a product of displacement and the force in the direction of the displacement. It's very important, guys, to stick to the exam guideline when it comes to the definition. Okay, now, now work is the work done in joules. It's measured in joules. Guys, another thing that is important, the work is energy. So when you when we when this gentleman is pushing the the, 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 the car there, if, if 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 when you calculate the work done and you get the positive answer, that means that the energy has been added to the car. And if the if if he was you were calculating the, the work done there and the, the answer is negative that means the energy has been taken from the car okay I'll, I'll, I'll dwell on that guys let's leave that so what i was saying the work is is a joules work is an energy when we talk about work we're talking about an energy and energy is measured in joules and we know the force is measured in newtons and the displacement guys it's the movement when we talk about the displacement it's a change in position you moved this object from here to here that's the displacement it's very important it's one of the components of the work done so it must be in meters guys and then the angle i'm going to talk about the angle now angle between the force and the displacement guys the angle which is this theta it's it will always cost there um we will talk about this angle which is theta it's the angle between the force and the displacement right now guys let's say we have an object let's look at this object this object there's a force that is applied in that object that's the only force that we're going to focus on i know there are many forces but we're going to focus on that particular force so this force is applied in this direction and the object moves from here to here and it moves né? the object so there's a displacement there so that means the object has been displaced has moved let's say two meters from there to there so if you look at the displacement and 
the the force they're in the same direction therefore the angle between them is what is zero do you see the angle between them they are parallel and they're going in the same direction the angle between them is zero degrees so the theta there is zero degrees right and once the force once the force and the displacement are in the same direction, the work that has been done on this object by this force is what is positive. We'll dwell on that as well. So now, force works in the direction of the displacement. So the force works in the direction of the displacement. The object gains an energy, or, 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 or under the 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 the. the, 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 the. Guys, when, 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 when the work is positive, guys, that means that the object gains an energy. When the force is in the same direction as the displacement, which is it's in the same direction with the movement of an object. So that means that the object gains an energy. So when they're in the same direction, guys, the angle between them is zero. So you put zero degrees there right now examples of forces do positive work so the example of forces that do positive work is the force applied right is the force applied force by an engine and the pump guys we we we're going to dwell on that i'll show you later now let's go to the negative work if the object is moving in this direction do you see the displacement displacement is the movement which means the object is moving from here to here but if there's a force that opposes that motion just like friction if the object moves this way the force that will oppose the motion is friction in most cases so do you see even though they are parallel to each other now since they are parallel to each other um the angle between them it's like this guys it's going to be that force and you have the displacement there the angle between them is what it's 180 degrees right the angle between they are in opposite direction so it says that the work force work against the direction of the displacement so all the time if the force is against the direction of the displacement the angle between them is what is zero so you put the 180 degrees so the object loses energy under the action of force so there will be a negative work so your your, your work done will be negative force work against the motion for example the force that do that that, that do the negative work is the friction guys the friction it does the negative work and the, the applied by the brakes the force applied by the brakes when you're slamming the brakes in the car it does the negative work right guys let's look at now Let's look at this in more details. In more details, what I was talking about. Guys, um, we we were talking about the direction as well. The direction, guys, will be always 0 and 180. There's a 90, but I'll show you where does the 90 applies. If an object is moving faster, the angle between F net and the uh, and, and that is, is, zero. Is, is 0. Guys, uh, if an object moves faster, that means, it, let's say the object is moving in this direction. That means the F net of that object will be in the same direction. So if it moves this way, that means the displacement is in that direction and the F net will be in that direction. So if they are pointing in the same direction, that means the angle between them is zero. So that occurs when an object moves faster. So let's look at this object. You have two forces acting on this object. You have that force two and force one there. But the object is moving where? In moving in that direction. So the object is moving in this direction and the F net Guys, if you add these two forces, the F net will be in this direction. So the F net is in that direction and the displacement is in that direction. So the angle is going to be zero, right? The angle is zero. It's when the force, the sum of the forces there, they're in the same direction as the displacement, just like this, guys. The angle between them is what is zero. Now, on an incline, guys, we, we also have an incline. If the object is moving faster upwards, the F net will be in the direction where it's moving faster and then the displacement will be there. So the angle between the F net and the displacement is what is zero. The object is moving downwards, right, and is moving faster downwards, which is when the object moves faster, guys, it's Newton's second law. It's moving faster downwards and the F net in that direction, the angle between them is zero. Now, here's the case, guys. When an object moves slower, slower, guys, that means the F net is in the opposite direction all the time, guys. If you are if if you're driving a car and you're slowing down, the F net is in the opposite direction. While the car is moving forward, the F net direction will be backwards, the acceleration will be backwards. Okay? Now the when an object is moving slower, the angle between the F net and the displacement is equal to 180. So this object guys is moving in this direction, but the F net is going in this direction because it's moving slower in this direction. 
so the f net will be in the opposite direction so the f net is in the opposite direction so the f net will be there and the displacement will be there so the angle there between them is going to be what zero okay let me write it so you have the displacement there and you have your f net there so do you see the angle between them is what is 180 same applies here on an incline guys your f net is in that direction the displacement in that direction the angle between them is 180 how um, it's going to be like that an object there's a displacement there and the f net there the f net um, no guys here it's supposed to be f net right but and the f net in the displacement is 180 right even here if the f net is going in this direction the object is displaced in that direction so you have the change in x and the f net there so the angle between them is 180 guys i hope that makes sense that's the introduction in the next video i'll focus on the examples guys let's look at when there's no work done it's very important guys when to understand when there's no work that has been done let's read here it says when a displacement of an object is perpendicular to the force just like this one do you see the displacement of the d means the displacement guys when the displacement is in that direction and the force is in that, that, that direction look at the, the person is carrying a bag so he's exacting a force on a bag in that direction and the displacement is in that, in that direction so that means the displacement and the force they are perpendicular to each other so that means it's going to be there in that formula when you say work done by the force force change in x cos theta here in this theta you're going to substitute what 90 so cos 90 cos 90 is equal to zero so the whole work done is going to be zero even here guys um there, here's an object here the object is moved from there to there with a displacement of what of three so this object is moved from there to here and there's a normal force the normal force is 100 there if you can calculate the the, the work done by the normal force so the work done by the normal force is normal force change in x cos theta so what is the normal force normal force is 100 and the displacement is what is 3 you times by 3 and cos what cos what 90 because the displacement is there and the normal force is there so the angle between them is 90 so once there's the angle the angle between the displacement and the force is 90 that means the work done is going to be what zero so because cos 90 is equal to zero guys here even here when the object is not moving you see this gentleman is exacting a force in the wall if that's the wall so if the wall is not moving that means that there's no displacement displacement is zero so if displacement is zero that means the work is what is zero object that is not moving that means it's uh, there's no displacement no work